The 2018 Senate race will end with Arizona's first ever female senator. But the race to get there, boy, is it tight. A recent Suffolk University Arizona Republic poll shows Democrat Kirsten Sinema is leading voters with 44.6%. Republican Martha McSally trailed by three percentage points. Important to note here in this poll that the results fall within the uh, poll's margin of error. You've heard from a Republican candidate, Martha McSally, on 12 today. But this morning, we are joined in Studio 12A by Democrat Kirsten Cinema. First of all, thank you so much. I know it took a while to get this all set up because I can't imagine how busy your schedule is. Just a little. Oh. <laughs> so there, but... We asked her how much she sleeps. Like she's working out. You know, she's still working out. Right. I give her props for that. <laughs> when we asked how much you slept, you just said no. No, that's not happening. But you know, we're almost there. We want to start off with, of course, big news that happened over the weekend for the confirmation of now Justice Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, 50-48 vote. If you were in that, that spot where you would have voted, which way would you have gone and why? Well, first, I, I think I share the concerns of most Arizonans when I say that this process was completely broken. It was a circus, and it really denigrated what we as Arizonans deserve. We should have had an open and transparent process for one of the most important decisions in our country. And I was incredibly disappointed when I saw politicians, in, including my opponent, who within hours of hearing about his nomination said, oh, he's the best ever or he's the worst ever. They had no idea. We needed the time to do the research and follow the hearings. And unfortunately, you know, the Senate decided not to make the results of their investigation open. Public. And that was really disappointing because we deserve that transparency. And I, I just feel like this whole process was was sad and, yeah. and not fair to Arizonans. I know that you will be, you know, whoever wins in November will be taking over for Senator Jeff Flake. How did you feel he handled this situation? Because it was different than a lot of his Republicans. And you see him making kind of different choices mm -hmm. as he nears the end of his Senate seat. So how did you think he handled that? Well, I was disappointed when the committee voted to move forward without an investigation. But when he called for the investigation, I was grateful. I was disappointed a week later mm -hmm. when we didn't get the results from the investigation. But moving forward with an investigation was absolutely the right step. And it's what the American people deserve. And Congressman Moment, I, I want to ask you this. You know, you brand yourself as fiercely independent, but uh, the I do like the way you said that. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it, honestly, it's all across your website. But, you know, as I did research, the, the website 538 says you actually vote with President Trump more than 60 per percent of the time. A lot of the legislation that you supported, really, you look more like a Republican in a lot of senses. Why do you still label yourself a Democrat? Well, I believe that when the president's doing something that's right for our state, I'm going to stand with him. And that would be an example of the work that we're doing on veterans. We agree mm -hmm. on those areas. But when he's doing something that's wrong for our state, I'm not afraid to stand up and say it's wrong. Like the work he's doing on tariffs, which are really bad for Arizona businesses mm -hmm. and farmers. And, you know, my approach is just to call the balls and the strikes as I see them. Mm -hmm. So if it's good for us, I'll say yes. If it's bad for us, I'll say no. And I don't really care whether or not it's a Republican or Democratic issue. What I care about is whether it's right for Arizona families and for everyday people. Uh, we, of course, this election is beyond historic, especially for women in Arizona, to finally have a female representing us in the Senate and representing our state. But when we've seen this election, I mean, it's either you or Martha McSally, it has become so divisive. And it almost those political ads are almost hard to stomach. They're hard to watch sometimes. Why do you think that is? Is it the issues that separate you guys so much? What are, what are the problems that we're seeing within this race that has made it so divisive? Well, Emma, unfortunately, Martha has chosen to run a really divisive campaign. And so she's running ads that are just lies and attacks against me. And that's her choice. But I think it's unfair to Arizonans. The ads that I'm running and the words that I'm sharing with Arizonans are based on the issues and the values that we share. So I'm staying laser focused on the issues that matter to everyday people. She can run a negative campaign if she wants to, but I'm not gonna participate in that. And what are those issues to you that you wanna make sure people, especially this morning who are watching, that they associate with you as they go in? I am so glad you've asked that because the number one issue I hear from Arizonans as I travel the state is their concern around healthcare. Yeah. Their attempts to try and take away healthcare from people who have pre-existing conditions. There's a woman I know named Leslie who was diagnosed with diabetes when she was in high school. She takes five insulin shots a day. And if the law changes 
she will lose access to that health care coverage. That's really dangerous for Arizonans. The age tax, which would hurt Arizonans age 50 to 64, cause them to pay as much as five times more for their health insurance. These are the number one issues that I hear from when I talk to Arizonans around the state. I do want to talk a little bit about border security as well as immigration. You supported a resolution to back ICE. You supported yes. Kate's Law, Criminal Alien Gang Member Act. You also voted for a bill that would punish sanctuary cities. That's uh, right. How can people trust, you know, especially in the Latino community, mm -hmm. when I talk to, to members in that community, that you will actually fight for immigration reform? Yeah. And a lot of people concerned about ICE rounding up people. You know, a lot of families who are here legally have some family members mm -hmm. that are here illegally, and they think at, at times you're not fighting for them. Well, the first and most important thing to do and to always remember is that we have to keep our country and community safe. And so bills like Kate's Law and the Gang Removal Act allow us to target the bad guys who are hurting innocent people in our community. We also need to enact smart, comprehensive immigration reform that lets good people come into the country legally. And so we've got to make sure that we're balancing those interests. ICE provides a very important function in our country. They arrest and to help us deport the bad guys. But we've got to protect and provide a path to citizenship for the good guys like our dreamers, the kids who've graduated from our high schools and done so much work to be a part of the American community. So we've got to find that smart balance and be reasonable about the approach we move forward with. What do the next 29 days look like for you? Gosh, there's going to be a lot of campaigning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I'm a marathoner, and so yes. I've been talking about this with my team, that a marathon is a long, long race, but when you can see the finish line, you should speed up. Even if you're in pain and if it hurts, you speed up to get across that finish line, mm -hmm. and that's what we're doing right now. We're speeding up. We're working our very hardest to get across that finish line. Well, we are, advice, like we said, this is a historic election, and right. yeah, we're anxious to see how it all turns out. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thanks so Here's much. Really Thank you for coming. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks.